Greetings everyone, it's been a while and for this time I'm testing a branch prediction update for the Windows. Now as you probably know I previously used Windows 10 Pro and it was 22H2 version but I decided to upgrade to Windows 11. At first I thought just let's do the upgrade path, not a clean reinstall. But unfortunately after that I got basically a broken windows and half of windows features didn't work. So I was forced to do a clean reinstall of my whole OS and here we are 5 days later. <laughs> and to quickly explain I tested windows 10 my original OS. I also tested my clean reinstall of Windows 11 23H2 and then I also retested with the newest branch prediction update which is aimed mostly at AMD CPUs, Zen 3 included. You probably have heard it before, especially from mainstream tech media and they report very inconsistent results. Some reports up to 35% gains on certain games and others report basically no difference. So I was really interested to test it for myself, especially because there is really lack of Zen 3 performance test regarding this patch update. Because if I personally don't get that performance uplift, so what's the point then? And as you can see, unfortunately, there is basically no difference. I tested with VBS off, memory integrity off, as well as hags off as well. And same settings was used for all my OSs, which is 10, 11 and 11 with the patch. Now I'm a little bit sad that I didn't test those outliers which other media have been reporting. But if I have to look for the gap of the performance with magnifying glass then it really doesn't even matter. Also one thing that I wanted to mention which really threw me off was the CPU utilization distribution in certain games check out the CPU utilization and especially individual CPU thread utilization. In Windows 10 it looks like it's separated and it really makes sense if you think that it is probably SMT disabled but with Windows 11 unpatched and also patched the SMT seems to be working in a way or is just a reporting difference from my MSI Afterburner or RTSS. So I'm not entirely sure if it's difference between reporting software or it's actually different scheduling. So yeah, it's an interesting thing that I noticed and really thought that something is wrong with my PC, but it's actually how it's supposed to work. So that's completely normal behavior. So hopefully in the future I'll get back on my schedule which is basically one video every three days but since it was so difficult with the whole upgrade of the OS and reinstalling everything yeah it's been a little bit hectic and in the future I think I'll be fine and thank you very much for watching I'll leave you today gameplay and see you next time. Bye bye for now.
reaching our walls. Thank you. 